forgot how to play. But it's okay. You wanna know why? Because we can do this. So, are you ready to start earning your stripes here? Or tires in your case, I suppose. I need a whole set. What's it gonna take to get them? Rules are simple. You step into the ring and for every one of my crew you can beat, I'll give you a tire. Though once you're in there, you're only leaving one of two ways. As a champion or on a stretcher. That seems a little severe, don't you think? Don't worry, we've got a top of the notch infirmary if you get bonked too hard. We'll get you tired and sore, but not dead. Sounds awesome. Who exactly would I be fighting anyway? Well, there's Jib Jab Jabroni and Heavy Hand Harvey. Then we've got Gorilla Galino and finally Balls Out Bennett. Oh, guys with nicknames. That sounds really fair. Hey, life ain't about what's fair and what's not. You think just cause you're a girl people are gonna treat you special? Someone starts causing you trouble out there in the real world, fair is the last thing that'll be on their mind. If you're not up to the challenge, the door's right over there. Else if you're ready to throw down and get what you came for, you know where I'll be. Uh, when we do the fights, they're all gonna happen one after another. And if we lose one of the fights, we lose a day. So if we just lose, I'll reload. Because I'm not about to sit here and... When we have... We're on a time limit. You ready to get in the ring and take on Jib Jab Jabroni? The guy isn't bad, but he tends to lean back a lot when he dodges. Focus and build a strategy, everything will go your way. You think I can beat him? Yeah, let's fight. See you in the ring. Jib Jab Jabroni, record, four wins, 17 losses. Hometown, Dubstown. Um, he jabs a lot and he leans back. So, cross, a lot. Okay. Cross. And then... Back. And left. And back. Alright. Now finish him off! Ah, oh, we did it! Jib Jab Jabroni has fallen. Heavy Hand Harvey, record 13 wins, 13 losses. Hometowns, Shartsville? Shartsville? Oh no. Okay, Heavy Hand Harvey hooks a lot. So we gotta go jabs and lean right or back. So jab, 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 jab. Jab. Jab so hard. Evade back. Evade right. Made right. He made back. We doing it, fam. Jab. Jab him into oblivion. He can't handle the jabs. Jab him some more. <laughs> jab so good. Two more jabs and he's done, bro. Awesome. We did it, fam! Heavy Hand Harvey has fallen! Gorilla Galino, record 24 wins, 7 losses. Hometown parts unknown. Gorilla crosses a lot. So, hook and left or right. Hook, 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 hook! I'm getting flayed. It's fine. Watch. And observe. Left. Right. Right. Left. Ow! My face! Can I hook you into oblivion? Will you murder me? No. He's just really good. No, not jab. Oh well. <laughs> I'm gonna lose this one. 
There's nothing I can do. Ow! He jabs and crosses. <laughs> Gorilla Galeno crushed you! I was crushed. Ow. See? We just lost the whole day because of that. And I need it. Oh my head. I wonder how long I was out for. Like, 24 hours. We're not doing that shit. If I lose a lot, I'll just fast forward to the fight I lost on, and then... Everyone will be happy. It'll be fine! We're back, bitches! He's got less health. I didn't notice. Alright, so... Let's just take this moment to... Evade. A lot. And see what he does. Hook. Jab. Hook. Jab. Jab. Really? Hook, jab, jab, jab. Are you sure? Because on the guy it says he crosses a lot. Oh, let's just. Sh that one and that one. See what happens. Cross, hook, jab. He does whatever the fuck he wants. I'm confused. Alright. Let's see if we can just hook him into oblivion, shall we? Let me hook you! Nope. Ow! Okay, we're fine. Let me hook you! Into oblivion! Hook! Urgh. He's jabbing. And I hate it. Ow! Again! <laughs> Here we are again, gorilla. Left. Right. Left. Right. I see no crosses there. No- oh, he crosses a lot. He doesn't. Fine. Let's do whatever and hope it works. I didn't even see what he did then. Cross, cross, and then back. And then cross, cross, and then back. Oh, now he's crossing, is he? Nah. Oh, this is a good. He doesn't understand what's going on. I did it! I beat him! Gorilla Galino has fallen! Balls out, Bennett. Record 46 wins, 0 losses. Hometown, San Bernardo. Apparently, this man does whatever, so. I would like to evade a lot. Left, right, Jeff, Chris. He's got a lot of stam. Let's just jab him a lot. Jab, jab. And then left, right. Oh my god, I'm a genius! Jab, jab. Left, right. I'm so, I'm so good at this! Jab, jab! He's on to me. 
It's okay though, we got this. No, we don't got it. He's jabbing and crossing. Who goes up against a jab? A hook? Hook him? And then jab him? No, that was wrong. I have to cross and then jab. I did it! Balls out, Bennett has fallen! Yeah, you did it, Ace. Came in a nobody and now you're a bulldozer, a wrecking ball. Four fighters up and you knocked them all down. I'm proud of you. As promised, you can have the tires you need. I'll have one of my crew run them over to stands for you. I assume that's where your car is? Yeah, how'd you know? Small town. <laughs> Hey, you ever get the urge to throw down again, come back and we'll arrange a rematch for you. Who knows, maybe you could even win a little prize money in the process? Interesting, I'll keep that in mind. Well, I gotta get back to the weights. Keep fighting. Of course, the second to last guy would give me more trouble than the final guy. Ugh. I know, no, no. Darren said the tires would be delivered to Stan's garage. I'm sorry, Daron. I better go meet Mark there now and see them and get them installed. See them installed. I'm not installing them. Mark is, and I'm just watching. It's what happens. Uh, speaking of happening... Yep, we're still recording. Who would've thunk it? Alright, Stan. Mark, I got the tires! Well, that's about it. Come tomorrow, she'll be ready for you to take the wheel. You really think this is gonna work? I've got a damn good feeling, but truth is, we never know. I'll get you out of this town one way or another after this race, though. Well, I hope everything goes according to plan. What's good hoping for it? Don't you decide how everything turns out in the end? What do you mean? I mean, if you believe in the plan, then it goes according to plan. So, do you believe in the plan, Robin? Do I believe we're gonna win the race? Yes! Of course we're gonna win! That's what I wanna hear, Robin! So long as you believe, nothing bad can happen. Come on, let's get out of here. Tomorrow's gonna be a big day. We're gonna need your wrist. I am! Let's rest then. Sleep ho! You're in the way, again. Fourth day in a row. Oh, good morning again, Robin. Good morning, Carlo. How's your mission to fix up Mark's old car going? Well, we've got all the parts we need, now it's just a matter of chewing it up and we're done. Wow, you really did it, huh? Yeah, I think Mark's waiting for me over at the church. If we can get everything sorted, I don't see why we couldn't be racing this afternoon. So you're really going through with it, huh? I was afraid this might actually happen. I'm begging you, Robin. This is too dangerous. You could get really hurt if something goes wrong. I'm really scared. I know you two think you've got it under control, but what if there's something you're missing? What if there's something you've forgotten or didn't know about? Are you sure I can't convince you to follow through with my plan to cut Stan's brakes? I'd take all the risk out of this for sure. There's be there'd be no danger anymore. You know, now that we're nearing the finish line, it is getting scary. I mean, what if we don't win? Yeah, that too! You need to get out of here and get to San Verdano. If you lose, then that might not happen. When you put it that way, I feel it is a tough decision. But no! Sorry, Carla. Some risks you just have to take yourself. I can't do it. I can't cut Stan's brakes. I'm aware of that, what that might mean, but we've got to take the high road on this one. Besides, maybe it's like Mark's always saying? We could have someone watching over us, right? For your sake, I truly hope so. I'll see you at the track later today, then. Yes, I guess so. If you cut that man's brakes, he dies in a fiery explosion in front of all of his children. It's such a bad way to go. Don't do it. It's not worth it. But if we don't cut his brakes, do we win? Dun dun dun! I guess you'll see. Ooh, after we talk to Mark. Hey, Mark. Mark. Looks like the old girl's just about ready to race. 
Great work getting all the parts we needed. She's in top shape. We can go see Stan about setting the step whenever you're ready. So, you figure out where I'm dropping you off once we get to San Verdano yet? Well, no, not exactly. I figured you could just dump me at the train station and I could figure it out from there. Oh uh, no, that doesn't sound like the best plan. Where's the rest of the wedding guests staying? Surely if Ren's got folks coming in from out of town, they'd have something arranged already, yeah? Knowing her, it's probably already all figured out. You know, I never thought about that. Why don't you go and give her a call and find out? Here, I think I've still got the number for the house programmed into her old phone. Oh, I don't know. I'm not really up to talking right now. Oh, looks like it's already ring! Mark handed you a cell phone. Mark, I don't- Hello? Oh, uh, hi Casey. Robin? Can't say I was expecting to hear you. Yeah, I wasn't really expecting to be calling. Well, is there something I can do for you? Go on, just ask! So, the wedding's coming up pretty soon, isn't it? Yeah, 14 days left by my count. It's already sneaking up on us, isn't it? Look, if you're going to ask me for an invite, it's really not my decision. It'd be nice to see you again and all, but that's Ren's call. Oh, I'm not looking for an invitation. I already got one in the mail a while back. Still have it. Really? Is that surprising? Well, maybe not. I'm not really too involved with the writing plans, so I don't know too much. Just didn't expect you to be coming considering the breakup. So if you're not looking for an invite, what can I do for you? Well, I should be arriving in a few days, and I haven't really figured out a place to stay yet. Hate to be the bearer of bad news, but Ren had the genius idea of booking the wedding during one- some big convention or what or something. Can't say I'd ever heard of Swagfest before, but apparently getting a hotel room is impossible right now. Most of the guests are staying with some other family friends. It's a packed house, too. <laughs> I hate to say it, but your best bet might be snuggling up on a curb. Oh, yeah, I guess. It wouldn't be the worst thing to happen to me this month. Mmm, sounds like you've gone through quite a lot to come here. Ren might not like it, but I'd feel bad knowing you were holed up in a hostel or something. Why don't you just come and stay with me until the wedding? It'd be nice to see you again, get a chance to catch up. Really? You do that for me? Well, it wouldn't be the first time you got a free ride off my back. So I guess I'll see you in a few days then? You still remember where the house is, I assume. Yeah, for sure. Thanks, really. Alright, I'll talk to you when you arrive. Well, how'd it go? He gave Mark his phone back. I guess you're gonna drop me off at our old place. Casey's invited me to stay there. Here's hoping that's not a terrible idea. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, I don't know. Everything? Okay, paper girl, we need to focus on this race now. I'll meet you over at Stan's garage. I need to go change out of my work clothes. Oh, it's getting feisty! Hello, it is I. What? Missed the door. I've done everything I can to prepare for the big race. Everyone's waiting for me at the track. Am I really ready to do this? Let me just gather my nerves for a minute. And save. Saving is nice. Boop! And here we go. Yep. Let's go. Let's race! Alright, you ready to settle this once and for all? Wager is one lap around the track, fastest time wins. You win, you get the car. I win, you're staying here and working with me moving scrap for three months. We know what's, up, what's at stake already. I just don't want to hear you complaining when we wipe the floor with you. Oh, come on, Mark. What would the big guy say if he heard you talking like that? That's between me and him now, isn't it? Why don't you go ahead and worry about who's going first? We want to go second so we know what we're up against. Oh, you just want me to warm up the track for you. Tell you what, we flip for it. Winner gets to go last. Go on, Robin. You can call it, okay? Heads or tails? Tails. Stan flip the coin. It's tails. <laughs> I guess someone is looking out for us after all. What's it matter? You're never gonna beat my time. I know this track like the back of my hand. Well, let's get a move on then. Robin's looking to get out of here sometime this year. All right, just give me a second. All right, you munchkins, be good and make sure these two don't cheat. Once daddy's finished, we'll all go out for ice cream. How's that sound? Yay, ice cream! 
We love you, Daddy. Go, Daddy, go! We're gonna cheer for you! Alright, Munchkins, I'll see you at the finish line. Be good. I'm only gonna do this once, so keep an eye on that timer, Preacher. I know you ain't gonna cheat me, but I don't want any accidents, you hear? Just, just you worry about the race. Ready when you are. Three, two, one, go! Oh, he's zooming. He made that turn like a pro. That's an interesting track you've got there. Don't run into my car! He ran over my car. Daddy, you went so fast. You're the best, Daddy. Nobody beats my Daddy, he's the fastest. Next time, take me with you. <laughs> okay, okay, settle down. Preacher, how'd I do? Just shy of a minute and a half. Stopwatch says 128. <laughs> Not too shabby if I do say so myself. You're gonna have a hell of a time beating that. Come on, let's clear the way for them to go. I was really fast. I don't know if I can beat him. I mean, did you see how he handled those corners? It's practically broken the laws of physics. I know, it's ungodly. We put a lot of work into the girl, though. She's bound to treat us right for it. I just need you to believe we can win, then everything's gonna be fine. Do I believe we'll win? Yes, of course I do. Well, just do your best. I don't want you walking out of here with any regrets. If there's something we could have done to help our chances, we'd have done it. Are we going or what? Go on, I'll see you at the finish line. Win or lose, I'm proud of you, baby girl. Okay, it's time to see what you can do. Better hope the Lord's watching over, hey preacher? Alright, let's hope let's get this show on the road. On my count! Three, two, one, go! Bloop. 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 I'm not controlling this, by the way. It's all just a cutscene. At this point, we have no control over what happens. As is life. That's so accurate. Ah, we did it! What was the time? I hate to say it, but the clock reads 120. You beat me by a whole 8 seconds. We won? We won! In your face, Stan! Now, now, let's be sportsmanlike. Put her there, Stan. It was a hell of a race. <laughs> You're a better man than me, Mark. Stan gave Mark the keys to the car. Come on, you munchkins. Daddy's gonna take you to get ice cream so you forget he lost. What are you doing, small child? You're so slow. You're so slow. 